Hi, I'm Hans Lehmann, and I'm the program coordinator for Sattler College's history major. I've loved history since a really young age. Actually, the earliest memory I have of paging through a history book uh, would have been a really large book that my parents had in our home, The Martyr's Mirror, which records the accounts and the letters of many of the early Anabaptist martyrs. And it also has some really gripping illustrations of uh, martyrdom of uh, early Christians as well as early, early Anabaptists. And those pictures captured my imagination. Yeah, so the study of history is most basically uh, a, an attempt to understand people from the past. And the most important skills, I think, uh, to do that are uh, one, social analysis. So again, thinking about the various uh, factors that might come into play, understanding that people act under constraints. Uh, there are economic constraints uh, that might inhibit them from acting in a certain way uh, or might com uh, urge them on <laughs> to act in a certain way at a, at a given moment. There are political constraints, there are religious constraints uh, that we all uh, are negotiating all in our minds all at once. So in the history major, we don't have any particular class that you need to take other than your senior year. We have a senior seminar uh, in which we hope to prepare all seniors for their senior capstone. Other than uh, that course though, we just have distribution requirements as we call them. So we expect uh, students to, among the 10 history classes that they take, that they uh, will have a good enough survey of different periods of history and regions around the globe. So uh, we ask students to uh, take two classes in European history, two classes in North American history, which would cover the United States, um, but then uh, be sure to also have two classes that cover uh, the non-Western world. Uh, then we also ask the students to be sure to cover the time period. So two classes in pre-modern history, that would include the ancient world, uh, medieval period, two classes in early modern history, so that would uh, be from the Renaissance and, and the Reformation up through uh, the French Revolution, roughly the, the latter part of the 18th century, and then uh, two classes in modern history, yeah, so that would cover from uh, the late 18th century up to the present. We yeah, typically want students to get a firm sense for analyzing cause and effect in a uh, in a social environment. So in the sciences, you can do controlled experiments and then talk about cause and effect according to uh, how, what inputs you had, how you varied them, and then you get different effects, right? Well, in history, we we're not privileged to have a controlled environment. We have to work with <laughs> eight billion people in the world and uh, try to think, try to isolate the different factors, uh, the different dominoes that might have fallen at some point in the past that led to a certain social outcome. Yeah, so history has been uh, a classic field for students to major in if they want to go into fields of work that involve writing and uh, speaking. So uh, journalism is a prime area, uh, law, so legal advocacy, advocacy of any kind uh, could be with uh, humanitarian organizations. Um, and then, yeah, when we think about uh, church life, uh, any leadership position in a, in a church involves often a good deal of writing and speaking. Secondarily, history is the natural major uh, to choose if you're interested in being a teacher in any of the social studies. Finally, because of the emphasis on learning uh, about other cultures, history is a prime field to study. If, if you want to en engage you know, internationally, in some way with uh, people from other cultures or live in other regions.